alone. Welcome to Sermon TV. Well, can you believe it? There are still those who are claiming that the book of Revelation is hard to understand but absurd. Say, we for you see, we all know that the word itself, Revelation, means something has been revealed. And the first words of this book tell us exactly who it is that's being revealed. It's the revelation of Jesus Christ. A pregnant woman, Revelation 13 verses 1 to 2. John sees a pregnant woman clothed with sun and the moon and with a garland of twelve stars around her head. She is pregnant with a male child who is destined to rule the nations with a rod of iron. This imagery is taken from Genesis 37 verses 9 to 11, where Joseph has a dream of his mother and father as the sun and the moon and his eleven brothers, and he is the twelfth. The woman is then Israel, without a doubt, and she exists mainly for the purpose of bringing a redeeming male child into the world. He alone is the key to global salvation, global peace and real global government based on true justice and righteousness. Only when he comes will the world know the blessedness of rest from conflict and war and he is carried, as it were, in the historical journey of the Jewish people. Best option is the nation of Israel being persecuted during the tribulation period. Israel gives birth to Jesus, then Satan, who is thrown out of heaven during the tribulation period, persecutes Israel because Israel produced the Messiah, and due to the tremendous satanic oppression, Israel flees to the wilderness for 1260 days. As indicated by Joseph's dream in Genesis 37 verses 9 to 11, the woman symbolized Israel, where the sun and the moon referred to Jacob and Rachel, Joseph's parents. The stars in the crown refer to the twelve sons of Jacob and identify the woman as Israel fulfilling the Abrahamic covenant. Isaiah 60 verses 1 to 3, 20 provides added proof that the Son refers to Israel's future glory. The apostate world system is compared to a harlot Revelation 17 verse 1, and the church to a pure bride 2 cor 11 colon 2 Revelation 19 verse 7. It is best to take the woman as a symbolic reference to Israel for the following reasons. First, Israel is often identified as a woman in the OT. Second, the image of the sun, moon, and twelve stars seem to be an allusion to Joseph's dream Gen 37 9 9-11. Third, the woman is seen with the child Revelation 12 verse 2 who rules with a rod of iron Revelation 12 verse 5. Fourth, the figure of Israel as a woman traveling in birth is found in several OT passages. Finally, the woman, Israel, will be persecuted in the last half of the tribulation Rev 12 colon 6, 13-17. While it is not impossible that she is an actual woman like Mary, the evidence shows that she, like the woman in chapter 17, has symbolic significance. The woman was said to be pregnant and about to give birth Revelation 12 verse 2. While in some sense this may be fulfilled in the birth of Christ to Mary, the context seems to refer to the emerging nation of Israel in its suffering prior to the second coming of Christ. Chapter 12 focuses on the persecution of the woman by Satan the dragon, v. 9, as well as referring to the persecution of the rest of her offspring, v. 17, which proves that the woman could not refer to a single individual. The fact that this woman is spoken of as a great sign stresses that John is not referring to a literal woman. Also, 
Mary did not flee into the wilderness and stay there for 1,260 days, while the dragon persecuted the remnant of her seed, verses 13 to 17. A Diabolical Dragon Revelation 12 colon 3 6 Almost immediately John sees another great sign in that he beholds a great fiery red dragon with seven heads, ten horns and seven diadems standing before the woman to oppose her, devour her child and resist her unique role in the earth. The symbolism means that behind the seven great empires of history that have opposed the Jewish people has been the devil. These empires have changed in outward appearance but the same sinister evil being has been pulling the strings behind them. These empires are Egypt, Syria, Assyria, Babylon, Media Persia, Greece and Rome. The latter, Rome, is the most dangerous as it has longevity, in that it splits in two and regathers finally as a reconstituted global entity comprising ten regions. This is nothing short of global government that will be satanic and will oppose Israel. The seven diadems are the leaders of these empires. One of these will be the final great antichrist. The lesson we have to learn is clear because of the unique role given to the Jewish people to be the vehicle of world redemption. The devil and his hordes have set out to oppose this divine initiative by seeking to liquidate them. This is the testimony of history right up until the present day. Even after the woman gives birth to the male child, the dragon realizes that her role will still be a key one in that she will bring the male child back to evict him and rule the nations. Until that day arrives the powers of darkness, and those who cooperate with them, will unite in an effort to destroy the nation of Israel. The real nature of this unending conflict is seen in the Holocaust and in the intense battle that rages over Israel today. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey on Book of Revelation. Please like, share, and subscribe to Sermon TV for more enlightening content. May God bless you abundantly on your spiritual journey. Don't forget to check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. Thank you for watching and may you be inspired to live out your faith boldly. Until next time, take care. God bless you.